We're back with the 44th President of the United States, Barack Obama, who's joining us from the Ellen Blue Room at the White House. <laughs> Mr. President, it has been a while since we've spoken. You look great. How are you? I am doing great. You look, you look wonderful also. Well, thank you so much for saying that. You didn't have to just because I said you look good, but that was nice of you. <laughs> And I don't, true. I don't know if you know this, but I was aiming to break your record of retweets, and I, I apologize for doing it, but I broke your retweet record. I, uh, I heard about that. I, I thought it was a pretty cheap stunt myself, yeah, right. getting a bunch of celebrities yeah. in the background. That's the only thing yeah. I could, I tried, that's the only You're thing I could. feeding them pizza. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the first lady's in China, how is she doing? Uh, you know, she hasn't landed yet, but uh, the house is abandoned. I'm, I'm stuck with two dogs, and uh, I'm expected to walk them and, and do what you do when you walk dogs. Now, uh, but I, I, I think they're going to have a wonderful time, though. They haven't been to China before, uh, and the opportunity for them to talk to young people, you know, they've actually met with students here in the United States who've made these trips before uh, and helped brief them in terms of what they should see. And uh, it, it's going to be a wonderful uh, exchange. And, and hopefully, uh, because of this trip, they may be able to invite some uh, Chinese students uh, back to the United States as well. That's amazing. Your daughters, are how, how are they doing? I mean, they're, they're growing up so fast. Every time I see a picture of them, and. And first of all, answer th that question, please. And then there, I have a, uh, a comment about the tattoo thing that you told them. Well, they are doing wonderfully. Uh, you know, Malia, she turns 16 this summer, which wow. is a little scary. Wow. And Sasha is going to be 13. And they're doing great in school, and they're smart, and they're funny, and they're kind, and uh, you know, they're athletic. And, and so I really have no complaints, in, except for the fact that Increasingly, they don't have that much time for me. You know, I am just, I, I am not that interesting. They're, they're, they're nice about it, though, because they still love me. So they'll come in, and they'll pat me on the head and kiss me, and they'll say, oh, Daddy, we love you so much. And they'll talk to me for about five minutes, and then they'll say, uh, we're going to be gone all weekend. Uh, and They're very busy you know, so, girls. So that, that's making me a little sad. Well, and I, I bet. Let me, let me uh, mention this. I don't know if everyone heard this, but you made the, the most uh, amazing uh, comment about if they would ever get a tattoo, and I think everyone should stick to this rule, if, if your daughter's got tattoos, that you and Michelle would also get the same tattoo in the same place, and you'd all take a family photo of all the tattoos. That's exactly right. That's we, we will. We will reduce the cool factor of any tattoo. Yeah. Michelle and I will be right there, and, and we'll post it so yeah. that everybody will be able to see it, and, and oh. we'll say, uh, we, we all got matching tattoos. Wow. And, and I suspect that'll be a pretty good deterrent wow. for both uh, Malia and Sasha. I hate to say it, but I hope they get tattoos. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> they good. Ellen, you should you should be a part of this. Yeah, no. You I'm should not. you should pledge to also get a tattoo with us. Yeah. Well, you know what? If that happens, I will. But other than that, I'm not into <laughs> tattoos. I, I'm not going to do that. Um, let's uh, let's also talk about you went shopping. I don't know how you can do this, but you went to a mall and you shopped at a Gap recently because you were photographed. So I know it's true. It happened. It happened. You went to the Gap and you went shopping. <laughs> How do you have time? Well, here, here, here's the thing. We, we were on a trip to New York, and The Gap announced that they were going to make sure that all their employees at least got paid $10 an hour. So they're increasing their wages for uh, tens of thousands of employees across the country. And since we've been saying that America deserves a raise and we should uh, provide a minimum wage of at least $10.10 .10 an hour, uh, I thought it was great for me to be able to go frequent a store that's doing right by their employees. Good for and, you. And, and I thought that was really important. Good for you. That's it's fantastic. And they sold a lot of those sweaters that you bought. I understand those sweaters you, that you bought sold out because everybody wanted to wear the same sweaters that your daughters are wearing. Well, I, I thought they were pretty nice sweaters. Yep. And Malia and Sasha. They did not scowl when I brought them in, which was a good sign. Yeah. I mean, they, they, they didn't immediately say, ooh, that's <laughs> terrible. 
Well, you have a family so, of good taste. I, I have not yet seen them wear them, but I'm hoping that uh, I, I make the cut. Uh, well, I, I, I would like to see them wear them also.